What's up guys, Johnny here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a stock that went up 55% in one day. It is also a penny stock, and I have reviewed this stock in the past. So if you want to check that out, you can up here, click the little card there, and you can watch that video. But <clears throat> we're going to talk about why this company went up 55% in a single day. It's CRNT, which is Saragon Networks. Now, this is still technically a penny stock because anything under $5 is pretty much a penny stock. But it doubled, which means you could have got this company, you could have got in this company today for about $3.40. Um, that seems to be kind of like their average right now. Their open was $3, their high was $6.30. Of course, as you can see, there was a huge sell-off once it got that high because people's probably been trying to get out of this for a long time. If we look at a five-year chart, it's actually not bad. I mean, there's some down here in a dollar seventy range, and then there's peaks as high as four seventy. Um, we're gonna go over uh, Webull, Robinhood, and my the street rating from Jim Cramer. Those are like my three go-tos for analyzing stocks. But for all of you who don't know who Saragon Networks is, it's a wireless backhaul solutions company. They basically um, service to wireless service providers so they provide the service public safety and organizations government agencies and utility companies um, it solutions are deployed by over 460 service providers as well as a range of private networks in uh, network owners in over 130 countries wow so they're in a lot of countries right now and um, <clears throat> Weeble saying it's a buy. Now, what is the news? Why did it move up so much? Well, if you look back even a day ago, it says that Saragon gets a buy rating from Needham, right, with a price target of $3.75, so it's great news. Um, DJ uh, Saragon Networks is maintained at buy by Needham, so that's good. And price target raised to three seventy five from three twenty five by Needham, which is another great thing. That's fifty extra cents per share. Needham turns incremental more constructive on buy rating after hosting a presentation at its growth conference. Saragon had an upbeat tone on its outlook and position going into the future, which is also a positive. Eighteen hours ago. Um, they're saying that the digital PTP radio market size for 2021 industry research, share, analysis, demand, growth, segmentation, manufacturers, forecast to 2026. That's awesome. And they're amongst the top movers today. So I'm sure there's a lot of day traders also running this game today. This is just insane. They seen it here. Boom, jumped it here. Boom, went back down. That is insane. But they did get a... <clears throat> Buy rating earnings per share does not look very good right now. It looks like it's at about a negative 11, but that doesn't mean it's not going to bounce back a little bit. Now they're at a negative 7 point, uh, 1.7 million for their 2019, and their balance sheet isn't too bad. Total liabilities are very, very low compared to their total assets, which is just incredible. That is a really good, uh, really good right there. They're negative 12, almost 13 million in cash flow. So. You know, it's going to be tight for them to come up, but I think they can do it, especially with people investing right now. Um, I think so. I'm pretty sure it, it can, you know. I wouldn't say this is necessarily a strong buy, but this is definitely a stock that I'm watching. And don't forget, guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. It helps this video get found on YouTube. At the same time, it's considered a buy rating based on two analysts, okay, 50% uh, buy, 50% hold, and their actions earning per share is about four cents right now, so not bad. Um, actually, no, this is all forecasted, it looks like. Well, I don't know, how is this saying actual right there? Well, we're in 2021, that makes sense, never mind. Uh, institutional holdings here, institutional holds 10.3 million, 12% um, owned by the institution. That's just incredible. Now, what else is there? 55% on the day. Look at this one. This is saying that it's up even more than that today. It's saying that it's up 55, 60, 70% today. That's pretty amazing. And again, there's the five-year chart. Founded in 1996, headquartered in Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv. And their market cap looks like 378 million 
which is amazing. Their average volume is 1 million, so it has a lot of liquidity also, which is very good. And as you can see, I've been watching this company since August 2019. Bought a share for 286, sold it for 222. Nothing crazy, right? All right. It is also based in Israel, for everyone who didn't know. It's an, an Israel company. Uh, so the street rating um, uh, is a C minus, which is saying it's a hold. And this was based on January 10th. Now, I wonder when they do an update on this because I just pulled it today. Uh, if they're going to do an update overnight, if they're going to do it in the weekend, uh, next week, next month. Uh, when they do, though, I will give you an update because this is before this 55% uh, increase in the stock price. And the volume is probably going to be incredible too. Like it's probably going to be crazy high because uh, all this just happened today. Uh, 1 15 2021. So, price change uh, this is saying 20% over the last three months. Obviously, that's not going to be right. A lot of these are actually going to be a little bit wrong because uh, it's not going to match with that 55% price point. But they're saying that um, <clears throat> some of the highlights. The stock has managed to rise its share value by 32%, which is awesome. Net income increased 751% compared to the same quarter last year. And uh, revenue slightly dropped by 2.2%. Not bad. Uh, they are outperforming against the subsector average of 19.1. So that's good. Um, CRTN is pretty much uh, packed in with everybody else. It looks like a yeah, 2.92 share price, which is not correct. It's at 558 now. So again, a lot of these numbers on the street aren't gonna necessarily match up. Uh, factors, one for growth. That's probably gonna change as well. Three and a half out of five for total return, two and a half out of five for efficiency, two out of five for price volatility, two out of five for solvency, and 0.5 for income. They do not pay a dividend. So uh, this is a company that, uh, you know, you should have got in earlier. That would have been awesome, you know, at $3 or even, you know, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, um, volatility in this company, like a lot up and down, up and down. So, I mean, but it looks like it's been going down for some time. So people who's been averaging down, buying it for $1.30, $1.20, those are the people that made money on this move. And that's why you see that huge dip. Those people seen it spike. They took an opportunity. They sold for $6 and it evened out to about $4.89. Not bad. So if you guys enjoyed this little breakdown of Saragon Networks or CRNT is the ticker symbol, subscribe to my channel, please. And smash that like button. It helps. Definitely helps. Um, if you guys have any videos you want me to make, go ahead and put that in the comment below. Just say, hey, Johnny, I want you to do a video on this stock. Boom, I'll do it. And also, if you haven't hit that little notification, I release a video every single day, and I want you to be able to watch them all. All right? You guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video tomorrow.